Something really cool about Google Sheets is if you place your data in a Google Sheet, you can insert graphs based on that data. So we're going to practice doing that. In this first example, it says, in a recent survey of fifth graders, the following are responses on favorite types of book genres. Set up a table with the correct column titles, then insert a bar graph or a line graph. So our first task is setting up the table. Looking at our data here, we have, it looks like we have the genres first and then how many people responded that that was their favorite genre. So when we're looking at our column one, column two in our table, column one might be genre and column two, maybe we'll say genres, and column two will be number of votes or we could say number of responses. We could kind of say any of that. All right, uh, so now we're gonna put in our data. So our first genre is science fiction, that got three votes. Then we've got fantasy, that got five votes. Mystery, mystery got four votes. Comics, two, fiction, eight, nonfiction, six, and biography, two. So now we're gonna insert a bar graph or line graph. So in order to do that, first I'm gonna highlight my table. So I'm highlighting all the information I just put in. And then there's a couple ways you can do it. You can either come up to this image and insert the chart that way, or you can go to insert here and choose chart. Either way works. So once I do that, right away, Google Sheets is gonna recommend some things for me. So you can see right here it's recommended that I use a bar graph and it's already set up some of my labels for me based on what I put as my column titles and it even has a suggested title for me. It also popped in a legend over here telling me what that blue what that blue means that's number of votes and so I can either stick with this recommendation and click insert or I can go through and try some other things. So I'm gonna to go to chart types. When I move over to chart types, you can see there's a lot of different things I can choose. I can choose a line graph, so that's gonna change it to that. Double line graph, I don't have two sets of data here, so that doesn't make sense. Back to our bar graph, and then there's a few others down here that you can choose from. To me, they recommended a bar graph, and that makes sense to me. Um, but I don't really like the title they gave, and I don't really think I need this legend over here. So I'm going to go over to the next option here, which is customization. So once I'm over here, I can change my title. So I'm going to change this to fifth grade genre votes. So that makes more sense to me. I'm going to make it bigger, and I can leave it bolded or unbolded. That looks good. I'm gonna go ahead under this legend and say none, because I don't feel like I need a legend. Usually a legend is telling us um, if we had maybe two different color bars over here, we'd have the blue telling us what blue meant and a red telling us what red meant. But since we just have one color, I'm just gonna say no legend. So that goes away. Uh, I can change my fonts if I want. I can change the background. I haven't really played around with these before, but you can surely experiment. And I'm going to look at my axis. So my horizontal axis right now says genres. That's correct. My left vertical axis says number of votes. That's correct. So that all looks good. Going back to my horizontal label, I noticed that these um, labels down here kind of go up and down, and that's okay, but I'm going to change my access labels. I'm going to change the font size, go down to 10, maybe one more, and then they all nicely fit across. I like that a little bit better, so I can change that there. Um, I can change the color of my bar if I want. I thought the blue looked pretty nice, though. And that's about it as far as my options. So if I like how my bar graph looks, if everything looks right, I could click insert. And then it's gonna insert itself right into my Google Sheet. I can shrink the size to fit it nicely, however I wanna do that. 